This room is as big as my living room in Patia. If not bigger. This is probably pretty much the same size as my apartment in Patia. This is just the bathroom. Just the bathroom. Anyway, we're at Dunstock Pier. Check out this little view. This is just at the pier. We haven't even left to the island yet. So Dunstock Pier is where you catch the row row or roll on, roll off ferry from here in Suratani over to Copenhagen, if I'm saying it right. I don't know. You can kill me. You know me with the pronunciations. I suck. But anyway, going over to Copenhagen next. So it's, I think it's an hour and a half, two hour ride on the ferry. I don't know. I'll let you know the exact time we get there. Cost for the ferry with a, with a truck and one passenger. So the, the vehicle and the, per, and the driver count as one. And then plus a passenger should have been 1300 but for some reason they only charge me for the vehicle and me so it was 1100 whatever i don't know maybe they'll charge us when we get on i'm not sure how that works but i don't know i was able to book it online too it was really easy raja ferry online it was super super basic just use my credit card nothing to it pulled up here pulled up here showed them the order number on my phone because when you one thing i didn't like about the online thing is when you finish it it doesn't really give you a receipt it just gives you a screen so if you don't print that screen or copy it it, it doesn't even send an email to you so make sure when you're doing the raja ferry that you screenshot or at least try to print the screen before you close it out or you may not have any other way to show that you paid for a ticket because it doesn't send you anything i thought it was going to send me an email i asked for my email but it didn't send me an email so yeah just a little note there, if you're using the Raja Ferry site, print that last screen before you close the browser or you may not have any kind of receipt to show them. Anyway, I took a picture of it, showed them the order number, they punched it in the machine, two seconds, we had a ticket, and good to go. It was nothing, they gave me a little thing to throw in the windshield when we pull on the ferry and that's it. Pretty basic. So now that we're out here, they have a restaurant up the hill and then you can't see it, but there's a little, there's a little cafe just down around the corner uh again it's kind of a long ferry ride i heard there is I, I think i read there's some stuff on the ferry itself but honestly i would stop by 7-eleven and just load up on snacks before you get here there's a ptt station like not even two kilometers from here before you get in a full size got gas got 7-eleven got everything you need amazon cafe full size cafe so i would use that before you come here probably cheaper too but we're still gonna go check out the restaurant the cafe somebody wants papaya salad naturally but pretty amazing I, do, I love this this is a great preview of what's to come very beautiful cannot get enough of these formations they are insane wow man is that gorgeous anyway came up here on the hill one of these restaurants is closed don and sam yeah it looks like this place has been shut down for a little bit but there still is another little cafe right next to this one that is open let's go check it out okay see coffee and, yep looks like they looks like they do snack foods here yeah here's the menu Okay, okay, so it's the same restaurant. I guess this is just like the cafe side of it. They just don't have the big dining room open. So the cafe side is open, dining room not so much. Okay, I think this might go down to the passenger side. I'm not sure where this leads to. Check it out. So far, pretty organized, pretty nice. Up there in the cafe area, they also have uh, announcement boards and a viewing board so you can tell what the status is of your ferry, if it's been canceled, if it's still going, when it's going, and they make announcements. Yeah, they got like a whole waiting area here. Let's check this out. A couple ATMs down here. They're making it pretty easy. There's a minute mark right here. Ticket counter. Got a Black Canyon coffee. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's definitely a full up operation. This is nice. Not bad at all. Oops, a little late on the video. That was some spicy basil pork with a, with a view. Delicious, delicious, so good. Right here at the Dawn and Sam restaurant. Raja Ferry, tasty. Mm. Mm. Travel buddy got that. I don't know what it's called, it looks good. Looking at the island on the map, it doesn't look too big. I'm not sure how useful the, uh, the car is gonna be. Might just end up parking it, renting a scooter. We'll see what happens. No big deal. Truck been doing all right. I'll say it's a 2014 Fortuna all wheel drive and a full tank of diesel gets us about 650 kilometers and it's costing about 12 to 1300 to fill it up. So it's not terrible. When I first got it, I, I kind of wanted it. Kind of thought about buying one, but out on the main roads is great, but once you get into the smaller, tighter areas, it's just, man, it's kind of kind of cumbersome. So I think I'm back to my idea of getting an HRV. But all that'll be in another video if it ever happens. <laughs> I got a whole collection of videos on buying a car. It's been interesting. Been a learning experience. Anyway, we'll check back in in a minute if we see something cool or check in on the ferry, show how that worked out. See you on a second. I'm not gonna lie, this makes me a little jealous right here. Look at those sexy machines. Some good looking rides. I do, I do miss getting on the bike and getting out there. I'm not sure if I wanna do it in Thailand, but I do miss the riding. It was a lot of fun, especially on a big dog like that. Street glides, road glide. Mm. So nice cruising on something like that. Unfortunately, motorcycles in Thailand, like American brands, whoo, man. <laughs> whoo, just a little bit, little bit higher than they are in the States. You know, pretty much like twice the price. So yeah, not really an option to get one of those, but yeah, there are plenty of, uh, plenty of bikes that are made here in Thailand other major brands you can get a lot cheaper uh looking at the uh, kawasaki or is it kawasaki yeah kawasaki versus 650 same one that ride for kicks lucas rides uh 650 versus they're a solid bike my first bike was a 650 ninja and it was a solid bike doesn't overheat great power just kind of right in the middle of the road for what you need to go cruising around all day long you know you could do a four, five, six, seven hour ride on a bike like that without being too much of a hassle other than your butt getting sore, you know? But the bike is gonna be comfortable as far as heat and, you know, sustaining itself and not burning too much gas. You know, the gas mileage on the things are great. <clears throat> but I digress. Yeah, I kinda miss, kinda miss the riding experience, but yeah, just not sure I wanna do it in Thailand. I'm not even sure if I'd wanna do it in the States anymore. I remember uh, riding in Hawaii and Guam, which is pretty much where I learned how to ride. It just, yeah, not always the safest feeling riding a bike you know and it's really it's really not your skills it's the other drivers who just seem to not give a shit about motorcycles but anyway yeah i don't know what i'm talking about here i'm just filling the gap here <laughs> while waiting on this damn ferry here's the roll-on area staging pretty nice setup here okay <laughs> yeah like i was saying make sure whatever you're gonna get whatever you need like if you're gonna get some supplies or whatever before you get here or you're gonna need something get it before you get here okay i just went in the store and got me a cornetto and that shit was 35 baht that's like more than a dollar i know they don't cost that much anywhere else that was hilarious they probably bought half that at seven that was surprising to me i'm like 35 really <laughs> it's not a lot of money it's just like really so they got you trapped in here it's like you know buying candy at the movie theater you know they got you trapped in there and they try to blow the prices up that's just Come on, man. You don't normally see that. Like a lot of times in airports, the prices aren't even inflated, but normally others, for some reason, this place is, I don't know. That was suspect. 
All right, we're getting on the ferry here to Copenhagen. This one. Okay, I guess they gotta check the ticket. They're gonna scan it. There's some nice bikes again. Yeah, I can't remember if it's an hour, hour and a half or something. I don't know. It's a pretty good ride. An hour and a half, two hours. But check in when you're home, when we get underway. Here's a little market on board. Don't expect friendly prices in there either. It's the whole good. It's like they had a little accident here. That's the ferry going to Koh Samui. Another place I gotta knock off my list. I went over there but didn't get to see much because I was on a photo shoot, but definitely go back over there and check it out. just sit in your if you want to you can always sit in your car and just leave it running because it's all open air anyway so that, that might be more comfortable than sitting upstairs honestly just sitting in your car with the air con on you can listen to your own music watch a movie or whatever but there's no windows that might be the only drawback you really can't see out you can see up sort of but not really out onto the water up to you as they say here in Thailand quite frequently being the big ones but I think they also go I'm not even gonna guess anyway links below if you want to check all that to see where else they go maybe you can make that out on video that that island right there is Koh Samui and then to the north of that we can't really see it yet that's Koh Phangan. a little smaller Still two pretty good sized islands. Alright, that toilet's pretty horrible, but at least it smelled bad. to 40 more minutes until we get there and that's my new house right there if you can see it in the middle don't I wish Copenhagen, finally. It's amazing. All right, it's uh, about 4.30 now, and we left at like 1.30. No, we're supposed to leave at 1.30.
We are here at Cynthia Copenhagen. I got it out. And let me tell you right now, the road up here was shady. Damn, but it never fails. I'm telling you, it never fails. Every time I go on vacation, there's always some shady mountain road that I gotta go on. That road I probably would not do at nighttime. Definitely not if it rains, man. Whew, suck. Gonna be crazy. I'm glad I'm the one driving. Looks pretty nice. Ooh. It's funny they told me they had parking, but yeah, it's barely parking. There's about there's room for about six vehicles here total. So if you are bringing your own vehicle and you're staying at this resort, I would let them know in advance so they can prepare. So hopefully you've seen my other video of the Santhea and Kochang and you can kind of get a comparison of how it looks. Pretty classic. I, lo I love the all wood construction, really beautiful. But this one has a pretty interesting view. I mean, the other one had a pretty nice view, but let's take a look at this view. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah, it's a little, little bit different. Pretty epic. Kochong had a nice, you know, beautiful ocean view, but not a whole lot of features, just, just ocean. This is looking right at another part of the island. Just looks amazing. All checked in, now off to the room. They got out these little carts here so you don't kill yourselves walking up and down the hills. I think they should do golf carts. These things seem a little big, but up to them. Whee. Definitely in the jungle. So just to inform you, sir, uh, actually originally booked uh, a room, right? Right. Like the hotel room. So we we'll give you a complimentary upgrade. So this is what we call Sea View Pool Villa. Okay. okay. It's more private actually, and then oh, you can right. have your own. Free upgrade. All right, we'll take it. Whew. It's bigger than swim, bigger swimming pool. Yeah, definitely a little more yeah. size to it. <laughs> okay, so swimming pool last. <laughs> okay, so the room key is clear, sir. Thank you. So, so by so the way, sir, our TV, we use a smart TV for okay. now. So unfortunately, we don't have really the thing, but uh, but you can try something because we have like turned down, like they make an upgrade and then something happens. So. Ah, don't worry. Channels are turned down. We got Netflix. Yes, sir. Yes, yes that's sir, okay. We got this. I think that'll work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. That's a much better channel. Yes, sir. Way more better. Yes. So the bathroom is here. Okay. Oh, what? Shower, what? Upper type. Okay. Totally private. No worries. Sir. Yeah. That's crazy looking. Okay. <laughs> and the best part is actually in this side. But you can really clearly see the sea view. Okay, so now where exactly is the ocean? I don't see it out there. Uh, oh, there it is right yeah, there. Okay. Is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. All right, here we are. Yeah. This, this is the Santhea Copenhagen. Wow. They are low occupancy, so they just go ahead and we, we had a room with a pool, but 
down. They go ahead and they well, they went ahead and upgraded that a little bit. So now we have a private villa instead of a room. Whoa. Bathtub here. Huge swimming pool. Sun lounge. This is what? This is this is crazy. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. And you're not gonna I only paid. <sighs> I had the price here, and you can you can believe me or not what I paid for this place for three days. Look at this, this is the bathroom, okay? This is where you take a shower. This room is as big as my living room in Patia. As big as the room, as big as my living room in Patia, no problem. If not bigger. This is probably pretty much the same size as my apartment in Patia. This is just the bathroom. Just the bathroom. Damn. All right, let's go take a look at the bedroom. Look at it, we got a hallway. <laughs> got a hallway to get to the master bed here. Just pretty epic. Just pretty epic. Pull back, get a look at that ceiling. About a 25 foot vaulted ceiling in here. And that's the afternoon view. Yeah, it's not terrible. Not terrible at all. That's an upgrade in the lowest season that Thailand has had in decades. We'll take it, we'll take it. Let's just say uh, the gentleman who showed us around and the porter, they got a pretty healthy tip. And uh, I felt pretty good about that tip. Had absolutely no problem hooking those boys up. We are on the hunt for some nightlife, restaurant, some food, all that, you know. This is literally over a couple of big rocks, which there are stairs, of course. Over a couple of big rocks, and it's just the next beach over from our beach that's connected to our hotel. Too easy. Uh-oh, but I went the wrong way. How do we get over there? Oh, I guess we gotta go this way. A little dark right now, so I'm not sure how well this is going to come out. But I'll definitely film. I'm sure we'll be over here a few times, so I'll film it again. Look at this. Freaking nice. Copenhagen, baby. So epic. And of course, super super quiet but what are you gonna do guys you know um so they get these borders open i don't think a whole lot of people are gonna be cruising over here and spend big money so what are you gonna do what are you gonna do but i'm gonna tell you right now this beach is just beyond epic beyond super super clean i haven't even seen a wrapper on the ground that's just crazy you just lay out here all day long man so beautiful oh this is heaven wow okay Whew. tired now we just walked about a kilometer and a half on soft sand <laughs> down the beach so we need a break so we're gonna stop here at this restaurant cleverly called the beach club yeah we spent a lot of late nights figuring out that title but looks pretty nice probably looks better than nice Whew. we got another nice road well check that one out too called the stone beach over there that looks really nice oh man it's sad these places are so quiet because this is just epic out here it's so beautiful 
might have said it before, but big, beautiful pictures in a menu sell the food. I don't know why some places don't get that. This menu is excellent. Excellent. That's the way to do it. I wish they'd have had better seating. We're just sitting beachfront with the ocean at our back. I was hoping for something more like looking at a stone wall or I don't know, maybe by the kitchen near a bathroom. Yeah, this is all they had was this beach view. Have to deal with that.